Magandang araw mga bata! Welcome to Teacher Marla's Channel kung saan maraming matututunan sa lesson na ating pag-aaralan. Our subject is Mathematics 6. Our last topic is volume. When we say volume, it is the number of cubic units contained in a space figure. These are the following formula of volume for the different solid figure. For cube, we have S raised to 3 or side times side times side. Rectangular prism, the formula is length times width times height. For pyramid, for square pyramid, we have S squared times height divided by 3. For rectangular pyramid, length times width times height divided by 3. For cylinder, pi radius squared times height. For cone, pi radius squared times height divided by 3. And for sphere, 4 pi radius cube divided by 3. Now, let us find the volume of the following figure. This figure is rectangular prism with length of 7 cm, width is 3 cm, and height is 4 cm. The formula in finding the volume of rectangular prism is length times width times height. We will substitute the value for us to find the volume. So length is 7 cm, width is 3 cm, then height is 4 cm. So we will multiply 7 times 3 times 4 is equal to 84 cubic centimeter. So the volume of the rectangular prism is 84 cubic centimeter. Now, let us find the volume of triangular prism. The formula is base times height divided by 2 times height. The general formula in finding the volume of a prism is base times height. Since the base of this figure is triangle, we will find its base area with the formula of base times height divided by 2. The first h is for the height of a triangle and the second h is for the height of the prism. So we will substitute. So the base of the triangle is 12 and the height of the triangle is 16. Then divided by 2. The height of the prism is 30. So 12 times 16 divided by 2 is equal to 96. Then copy 30. 96 times 30 is equal to 2880. So the volume of this triangular prism is 2880 cubic meter. Next is rectangular pyramid. The formula is length times width times height divided by 3. So the length is 6, width is 4, and height is 5. So 6 times 4 times 5 is equal to 120, then divided by 3 is equal to 40. So the volume of this rectangular pyramid is 40 cubic centimeters. Next is cylinder. The formula is pi radius squared times height. So let us substitute. Uh, the value of pi is 3.14, radius is 2.2, then height is 14.6. So, following the order of operation, so, unahin natin yung merong exponent. So, 2.2 times 2.2 is equal to 4.84. Then, we will multiply 3.14 times 4.84 times 14.6. So, it is equal to 221.88,400. 9600,000. So let us uh, round off or estimate this uh, number to the nearest hundreds. So the answer is 221.88 cubic meters. So since ang katabi ng 8 ay 4, so remain lamang yung 8. So the volume of the cylinder is 221.88 cubic meters. Next is cone. The formula is pi radius squared times height divided by 3. So, let us substitute. Pi is 3.14, radius is 6, then height is 10, then divided by 3. So, first is 6 times 6 is equal to 36. Then multiply 3.14 times 36 times 10 is equal to 1130.4, then divided by 3. The answer is 376.8. So, the volume of this cone is... 376.8 cubic centimeters. Then, sphere. The formula is 4 pi radius cube divided by 3. So, substitute the value. So, pi is 3.14. 
Then, we have 15 since the given is diameter. Then, the half of the diameter is the radius. So, 30 divided by 2 is 15. So, unahin natin yung uh, 15 cube. So, 15 times 15 times 15 is equivalent to 3,375. Then, multiply the 3. 4 times 3.14 times 3,375 is equal to 42,390 divided by 3. So, the answer is 14,130. So, the volume of the sphere is 14,130 cubic centimeters. Now, let's have a problem solving. First is, an ice cream cone has a diameter of 32 millimeters and a height of 45 millimeters. What is its volume? So, we have the diameter, then height. So, the formula is pi radius squared times height divided by 3. So, since given yung diameter, and ang nasa formula ay radius, hahatiin natin yung diameter. Since, ang diameter po ay twice of radius. Then, radius is half of the diameter. So, substitute, pi is 3.14, radius is 16. So, 32 divided by 2 is 16. Then, height is 45. So, 16 times 16 is equal to 256. Then, multiply 3.14 times 256 times 45 is equal to 36,172.8 divided by 3. So, the volume of the ice cream cone is 12,057.6 cubic millimeters. Second problem a water tank has an interior height of 10 meters and a diameter of 6 meters. How many liters of water can it hold half full? So, the formula is pi radius squared times height. So, again, given ang diameter, so we will divide 6 by 2. So, ang radius natin ay 3. So, we have 3.14 times 3 squared times 10. So, 3 times 3 is equal to? 9. Then multiply. 3.14 times 9 times 10 is equal to 282.6 cubic meters. So since ang inahanap sa problem ay, how many liters of water can it hold half full? So kalahati lang. So ang 282.6 cubic meters, yun ang volume ng cylinder kapag, uh, yun ang volume ng water tank kapag puno. Pero kapag kalahati lang, so, since ang hinahanap sa problem ay kalahate, so we will divide 282.6 divided by 2. So, the answer is 141.3 cubic meters. So, ang volume ng water tank kapag half full ay 141.3 cubic meters. A pyramid has a height of 16 decimeter. Its base is 84 square decimeter. What is its volume? So, the formula is base times height divided by 3. So, this is the general formula for pyramid. So, since given na yung base, ang gagamitin natin ay ang general formula. So, base is 84, then height is 16, multiply. 84 times 16 is equal to 1,344. Divided by 3, the volume of the pyramid is 448 cubic decimeters. A chalk box measures 18 centimeter on each edge. What is the volume of the box? So the formula is S cube or side times side times side. So we have 18 raised to 3. So we will multiply 18 by itself 3 times. So 18 times 18 times 18 is equal to 5,832. So the volume of the chalk box is 5,832 cubic centimeters. Always remember this formula in solving volume. So we have 4 cube, rectangular prism, square pyramid, rectangular pyramid, cylinder, cone, and sphere. That's the end of our discussion for today. I hope you learned how to solve volume. Thank you for watching. If you are new in our channel, Please subscribe and click the notification bell for more math and science videos.